Hi folks, and welcome to today's edit, The Golden Grove. You may have seen this one in my gallery. This is a slight re-edit of The Golden Grove um, for tutorial purposes. So let's get started. So going in and working with levels and pulling out just a little bit of shadow so we can get a little more detail to work with overall. And just pulling in the darks a little bit. And now going in with color balance. And I'm going to go over to greens, and you may see me do this several times. I'm going to really pump in the greens in this image so that the vegetation floor really stands out. Just experimenting a little bit with the color differences. Like I said, going back in, and what I just did there was I went in and I fixed the greens, and then I went back in again and fixed them over again so that they pumped in even further than I was able to do with the first round. This image had a lot of good qualities to start with, and you may wonder why I'm even editing it, but I just wanted to try something a little different than your average sunray picture. So I just brought in a little bit of yellows. one of my neutrals sections and I'm going to take that little bit of yellow I pumped in there and I'm going to use that to change the image through the rest of this edit. So bringing a little more red and maroon tone, magenta tones in there. Messing with contrast. Now going in with the actual yellows and other selective color sections and messing with it. Usually you don't want to mess with the whites tones unless you bring them down because it'll start to make them gray. With grays when you use the black to white scroller, you're essentially changing your mid-levels tones. So going in with color balance again, and this is just going to be a lot of shifting back and forth to get the saturation levels to where I want them. Yeah. 
and here is our finished image. You can see quite a change in the color ranges in this one. If you have any questions about this edit, just leave me a comment in the comment sections below. If this edit helped you and you would like to see more edits in the future, subscribe to me here on YouTube or on DeviantArt to be notified when my next tutorials come out.